Coming to you straight from the heart of Hollywood, California, welcome to the Early Late Night Show. Here's your host, Dixie D'Amelio. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Dixie D'Amelio Early Late Night Show. Today we have a very, very special guest, Mads Lewis. Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for having me. So, Mads, I'm so glad you can make it on the show. There's definitely a lot we should talk about. Um, yeah, um, spill some tea. <laughs> first, I wanted to talk about, I think for a very long time, we both thought we hated each other. Like, I, I don't know, we just both gave each other mean vibes because well, I think we both thought we hated each other. Yeah, but I'm gonna just say it for both of us, we both have a resting bitch face. Um, yes. And like, we think that we're like, looking at each other meanly, but I think that's just our first <laughs> I was always scared of Mads. I don't know. Why were you scared of me? You're scary. I'm scary? I'm sorry, you guys. You guys look like I'm scary. No, but I feel like I come off the same way No, sometimes. you do. 1,000%. Okay. Like, I'll look at, like, I don't know if you guys know Sabrina, but I'll look at Sab, she's my best friend, and I'll be like, does Dixie hate me? <laughs> she looks at me, she doesn't want to give me a hug. <laughs> I also don't us. give hugs to anyone. Yeah, I, I'm, no, I'm not that. a physical I'm a person. Hugger. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> so you just moved into a brand new house. Mm -hmm. And how's that going? Oh, it's great. Um, I actually, I moved in the house. It's called Just a House LA. It's full of, I think, six other girls. We're like kind of like a family, you know? I always told myself like, oh, don't move into a house with all girls or don't mm -hmm. move into a house just in general, a content house. And, you know, I was like, you know what? I'll do it because my friend Sab was like, just do it. And I was like, okay. So I did. And they're all actually doing really nice. I've gone back and forth from LA to um, Temecula, which is where I'm from, literally since I was like 13, mm -hmm. like since sixth grade, back and forth every day. So I've been doing social media for a while and I've met a lot of girls and actually a lot of guys and they're all mean. A lot of people in LA just want to use you for clout, like just want to hang out with you just because they want to be like be bigger and like that's fine. But I don't like people who are users. I don't like people who just use me for like social media, but I mean, <laughs> I think that's nice. Um, but yeah, I like genuinely nice people and those girls are really, really nice. And I don't like people who just steal your boyfriends, but it's fine. It's <laughs> fine. And they're not like that, so. That's so awesome. I'm right? so happy it's for fine. you. Yeah. Anywho, um, so you've been doing, you act. That's mm -hmm. like your main thing you yeah. do. I know it's not the same, but like the POVs on TikTok are good. Noah does them sometimes. I've actually duetted Noah on TikTok before people say that. <laughs> I duetted a video of his a very long time ago. He did like this acting video, and mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I'll do it because I know him. Mm -hmm. So I just did it. Yeah. yeah, just had to throw that out there. No, but you're really good, and do you still, like, what's your plan? Is that your long-term plan? Uh, yeah, my biggest goal is to be in a Marvel movie, um, because I've been to almost every Avengers, like, world premiere when, you know, COVID wasn't a thing, and the last world premiere I went to was Endgame. Mm -hmm. um, and just to feel the emotion of the characters, like, watch all of the people in the crowd just cry, laugh, like, scream and cheer, like, they feel what those characters are feeling, and I love becoming a new character and, like, relating to her, and... So yeah, I'm, I really want to play Iron Man's daughter. Ooh. I feel like I can, so that's my biggest goal. Already congratulating myself for doing that. Um, but yeah, that's my biggest goal. Marvel. Wait, that's so cute. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you're putting that out into the yeah. universe. I mean, that's I believe something. in myself to do that. You, Mads, you are a very mature girl. Thank you, appreciate um, it. I think you have handled a situation a lot better than I handled a situation. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Why? <laughs> Did you <laughs> handle it like, like? Um. Well, if I think about the situation that you're talking about, like I think I know what you're um, talking about. Yeah. I just feel like going into something like that in a mature way because we are in like a public situation. Like we do have a big platform. I'm not saying certain things to be like, that's how you should do it. Like, listen to me. No, I'm doing it for my own safety and my own mental health. Mm -hmm. Because if I, yeah, I put some things on there, like in the heat yeah. of the moment, everyone does. Yeah. But I took it in the mature way. I said what I had to say. And then I just left it because I don't ever want to hurt someone. That's never my intention. Um, so I just, I don't know, I just did it in a mature way, I guess. I don't want to out anyone. So I yeah. just said what I had to say. Just like you said, you say your feelings. It's not really a diss if you say your feelings. Yeah. Do you think that the internet, I mean, it's not even a question because I know, but like the internet always favors guys' feelings over girls' feelings. Mm -hmm. And I think that's happened to you a lot recently. Like, does it hurt or do you not care? Um, No, it doesn't hurt. I don't really let supporters or honestly just in general, my friends, family, I don't let their opinion really bother me. Um, I never read my comments. Like if I read it some, it's, it's like very rare really? because I know that it will hurt me, so I don't. So I just block out certain words 
so it doesn't pop up. Mm -hmm. So you know I block out this name or that name and then I just not in my comments. So people can still comment that, I just can't see it. Yeah. And I just don't think. Oh wait, can other people see it? Uh-uh. Okay, good. The only person that can see it is the person that commented the name. Uh, it just doesn't show up. So okay, they think yeah. they're like, oh my god, I'm gonna write this. No, they, you did not see it. Yeah, I have all 50 words blocked on TikTok. I have so many words <laughs> blocked on TikTok and Instagram. Like, so many. Because I just, one, why are you writing that? Two, mm -hmm. they're probably writing it because they just want attention. Which is fine, if that's the way you want to get attention, then do it. But mm -hmm. I'm not going to give you that satisfaction of me clapping back at you for you being rude to me because I'm just not a rude person. I can be, but I'm not going to be. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so I don't read them. Noah, do you want to come here? Yeah, Noah! <laughs> Noah! <laughs> um, why did Josh, why was Josh so against you? Um, <laughs> because just brief, I'm just gonna just say it. Uh, Jaden lied to him and said that everything I was saying wasn't true, um, which is what I'm assuming because that's what he always does. I mean, ta I mean, think about it. That's your supposedly quote unquote best friend. You want to tell him the truth right then? Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. They were best friends. I know. Like brothers. I know. <laughs> Literally, and you want to know the saddest part? Mm -hmm. Um, Josh told Jaden a week before all that happened, he said, I'm ready to marry this girl, bro. Like, I literally love this girl. Doesn't that make you want to cry? I just got chills. I got warm chills, too. Wasn't that sad? I didn't get those, but yeah, it is sad. And <laughs> another, sa another sad part is, um, before, because, you know, they all went to Laguna together, me and Josh weren't invited, um, he <laughs> kissed me goodbye and said, I love you, always talked about our future, and then left and broke up with me over the phone, and, um, I found out that he cheated on me through our entire relationship, so. Uh, so, what I said on the Call Her Daddy podcast, I know a lot more information now than I did back then, and I kind of hate myself for sugarcoating the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, You're back up, you said throughout the whole relationship? Well, we were off and on for like a year. Um, okay. We technically only dated for two months this past time, but yeah. No, but you guys. I think together. I think that's true. I don't have like, he <clears throat> he's never said it to me, and I don't think he ever will. But no, yeah, of course not. One hundred percent. So, do you think, like, it's a publicity stunt for their music? Um, I don't know why it would be a publicity stunt. Uh, why would you ever make a relationship a publicity stunt? That's kind of effed up. <laughs> 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 um, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I even said on the Call Her Daddy podcast when I heard, like, the voice, like, memos that mm -hmm. his manager sent him, it kind of sounded like his manager was trying to get him and, like, brainwashing him into thinking, like, oh, you're meant for her. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it could be a publicity stunt, and then now it's not, but... You think it, you think it was, like, a publicity stunt, like, set up by their teams, or do you I think... I think it was set up by Nessa and her management, yeah because I think, oh, you think she Nessa's wants fame really well. bad. Yeah, um, and nothing against that at all. I mean, why well, not? But in that way, why not? in that <laughs> way, in that way, yeah. really messed up. Super. But. I mean, if they actually genuinely like each other, like go off, if you're happy, be happy. But the way <laughs> you did it, especially because you have a platform. <laughs> if you, if you, me too. If you have a platform <laughs> like that, it's just not, you just shouldn't do it. You no. Just shouldn't do it. No, especially no. because it was your best friend. Oh, yeah. and you want to know another thing? Um, he decided, sure. I'm just going to say it anyways, because um, why not? Um, Jaden decided to go out of his way and text my friend, um, we all know who that friend is, and say, yo, that's bro code. You should have asked for my consent. Really? Because did you ask for Josh's consent before you did what you did? Ooh, he can't be mad. No. Ooh. You're not friends. You are not friends. Josh was your best friend, and you went behind his back and then lied to his face. So what's Period. your plan? <laughs> Life goes on. What's my plan? Mm -hmm. Um... I don't really have a plan. Like I said, I'm a Christian. I go by God's plan. If he wants to lead me in the right direction, he's going to, which he always does. Um, obviously, he wanted to show me <clears> that he wasn't the right one for me. And if that's, he did it in a certain way and I can't blame him for it. Like, I, feel I like just have to move on and I have. Yeah. I feel like something like this was coming for a while mm -hmm. and you weren't taking yeah. the signs. So probably. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Don't cry. No, I'm not, do, gonna cry. Okay. Okay. No, I'm not going to cry. Um, I try not to let my anger get the best of me. Do you have any regrets from this whole situation? Um, no, actually. Um, he taught me what I don't want in a man. And the fact that I got to learn this young in my life is incredible because now I can watch out for those things and see those signs. And honestly, he's a narcissist. Um, I know 
a lot of y'all know what that is. Um, narcissistic people suck. They have no emotion towards anyone. Uh, they have no sympathy, nothing. Uh, they only care about themselves. They really don't know what love is. Low-key sociopath. Um, yes. Um, they say I love you when they don't mean it. They talk about the future and how they're gonna marry you and have kids with you and how they're gonna love you forever. But they only talk about that. They never talk about in the moment. They never wanna hang out with you. They never wanna go anywhere with you, be seen with you. They gaslight you into mm. the relationship and then Dang. go behind your back. Yeah, and I mean, I'm kind of an idiot because through our entire relationship of being <clears throat> with him, first month, literally so amazing. Like, mm -hmm. such a nice guy. And then all of a sudden, just... I think that's when I met you guys. Mm -hmm. We were really happy. Mm -hmm. Like, you're so happy. And then we kissed on New Year's, and the next day it was like, wait, I don't even remember who he is. Like, he was completely different. Just talking on, like, your like where you stand now with, like, Nessa and Jaden, like, is there any communication there? Like, have you guys, have you talked since all of it? Yeah, we have. Um, I haven't talked to Nessa, uh, like I said, on the other podcast, you know, I, the last thing I said to her was, uh, F you. Um, hmm. If you don't answer my phone right now, I'll literally tell Josh. Wait. Go for it. Yeah, these, te so these texts, you don't have to go too much into it, but what, it, is, are these like, sorry texts, are these just like. Have you, you gotten an apology? Um, like, not necessarily, really, no. Um, he basically just wanted to talk I, on the phone or something. I ignored him for like a few days. And then I told him like, what does he want? And he said something along the lines of like, I know this is like really personal getting into it. And he's probably gonna be like, oh my God, I can't believe like you said our business. It's like, it's my business too. Um, he kind of just said like, Do you, hey, can we go on a call? If not, I understand I'll leave you alone forever. And I basically said like, a call won't change my opinion about you. Um, so don't, be mad when you hear me say, please leave me alone forever. And then he could not respect it. And he hearted it, which is fine, that's respectful. And he couldn't respect it for more than two minutes. And then he texted me, well, if you ever want to. Yeah. And then he was like, be safe, sweet, <clears throat> be safe, thanks. Uh, and then I texted him today, cause I kinda wanna just like get that over with. Um, that feeling of like, not, oh, I miss you, oh, I love you, I like you, anything, because I'm completely over that. I do not miss him, I do not love him anymore, I, do, I don't even really like him, wish him the best, but honestly, I hate you. Um, and I, I wanted to tell him that today in person. I thought over the phone would be immature, you can't see your face, you can't see each other at all, actually, you can just hear a voice, you can scream. You know how phone calls go when you're in an argument, you hang up, you call back, that's horrible, that's not, that's, that's very I'm toxic. gonna tell you. <laughs> Um, this sounds like a bad idea. I know, and he said he didn't want to. And I said, okay, cool, bye. Did a lot of true colors show after all this happened? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he likes to say that I'm trying to ruin his life when it's like, Jaden, like I say, I only go in the path of where God leaves me. Why would I ever try to ruin your life when that's your life? I would never do that. Mm -hmm. You chose to go out with Nessa on a date in public. Also one, what? one, they didn't post anything to show where they were. Why did paparazzi know where they were? How does paparazzi know where you live? You're calling paparazzi to film you. Like I've been to that house before, it is hidden. Mm -hmm. How does paparazzi know you're there? Just cleaning your car, what? You're telling it, that's on you. You're ruining your own life. And you're really not ruining your life. I mean, yeah, it's like what? So I feel like also I'm not doing that. I would never do that. The people who are putting their opinions in this whole situation, forget. We're all teenagers. Yeah, These are, we're this so is young. high school drama that happens in high school that we're dealing with with people's opinions, and it's really hard. And it's yeah. hard to put your emotions out there. And I'm, I thank you for talking about it. But like, I know it's scary, and you feel like. You want people to know the truth. You like, I hated seeing lies. I hate seeing lies about myself online. And that's all I want is for like, for people to know the truth. And you can't always do that. You can't put that out there because you also want to respect other people and like not, yep. not be a drama queen or whatever. Like, yeah, and it's, it's funny because a lot of people, you'll say something and they'll be like, you're crazy. You weren't there. You mm -hmm. don't know anything that happened. There's a lot of things that have happened that I have not said before in our relationship. 
And I feel like it's also crazy how hard Jaden went on Chase for the same thing. Yeah, it's like you literally made Chase feel stupid with like, yeah, we love like, <clears throat> I know everyone ships Charlie and Chase, but that's their business. Like mm -hmm. Jaden, you had no mean to go to Chase's house and threaten him. That's so mean. And then go and do the same thing almost like a year later. Like that's so messed up. Mm -hmm. The people watching need to remember that we are just teenagers. Yeah. trying to learn in front of a huge audience and you can't expect us to make every perfect decision. You can't expect us to hold in our anger all the time. Like you said, we are kids and it's like, the people trying to cancel us are the people making the same mistakes, if not worse, and yeah, it's like. but it's also, like, I hate to cut you off, but it's also like, we're gonna make these mistakes and you're gonna hate on us for it, but instead of being like, you're supposed <clears> to <throat> teach us what we can do, like, or what we should do, you should be a good, like, person to show yeah. younger kids what to do and what's good, what's not okay, then learn from our mistakes. While yeah. we're learning from our mistakes, you learn from them and realize that, hey, if I did that, look what happened to Noah. Like, that could happen to me. Mm -hmm. Learn from that. Don't hate on someone for it. And I honestly think I said what I had to say about, you know, the whole situation. Like I said, yeah, I think um, we touched I'm going to be a good person. I'm going to be, uh, like, mature about it. I wish them the best. Um, I, want, I want him to, if he's going to be with her, don't say I love you to her, or honestly, anyone you're with, don't say I love you to them unless you mean it. Because I love you is a, a very meaningful sentence. Um, it like, you know, you take it to heart. I mean, your mom says I love you, your dad says I love you. It's very meaningful, yeah. and I just hope that if he genuinely loves her, he treats her in the way of the man that he says he is. You're smart, Mads. You have a bug yeah. in your hair. Sorry. <laughs> Thank yeah. you, by the way. It flew out. Well, I hope you said everything you wanted to say. I know, like, you're being super nice on the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> What's your next step? Just chill. Uh, I don't know. I kind of just live in the moment. It's fun. Yeah, vibe. Play by ear. Whatever happens, happens. I feel like the girls are really good at, like, don't do that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And that's helped a lot. Yeah, well, this is what I always tell everyone. Um, well, one, I live my life like a movie because that's the best way to live your life. Um, you only get one. Um, and you're an actress. Might as well. Yeah. yeah. Kill two um, I always there. take my life as a storybook, <clears throat> as a book. You know, um, each part or season or learn a lesson that you've learned is a chapter in a book. You can either choose to reread that chapter over and over again because you don't understand it or read the next chapter to understand the last chapter. And then you keep on going, and then eventually you reach the end of the story, and you either end in a happy note, or you don't end with it at all. Holy oh, shit. I like, know. <laughs> yeah, that's how I, I do it. I feel so it. much better after this. Yeah, you're like therapeutic. A lot of people say my to. voice is really soothing, because I can talk like this. No, yeah, they say the is, same thing about me. Your voice is great all, but just the things you're saying is like, Thank you. makes so much sense. Yeah, like, so like I said, a lot of people <laughs> say there's never a happy ending to a story, but it's just on how you learn from it. Well, when you watch a movie, a movie so every far. movie, has a meaning to it. Every movie you should learn something, but it's only how you watch the movie or read the story. I need to like write all these down. Yeah, you've got a hell of a movie so far uh, going on for you. So, so we usually end every episode by signing the signature wall so we can all head over there. Go over there. Thank you so much, Mads, for coming on the show. Of course. It is the time where she can sign the wall. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of the Dixie D'Amelio Early Late Night Show. Thank you so much, Mads, for coming. And I will see you guys next week.